All right, Workout Worthy. Welcome to Five Minutes of Fitness. This is a quick, effective, full body workout that you can fit in any day, anytime, anywhere. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and come back. Your workouts do not need to be extreme, but you do need to be consistent. Today's workout, all you need is a pair of dumbbells. We're gonna start with our back. So you wanna go a little bit heavy, bending your knees, lift with your legs. Narrow bent back rows, starting in great form. So your shoulders are back, elongate. You want your chest past your toes. Arms hang, but don't let your shoulder blades separate. Keep those shoulder blades retracted. And we're gonna alternate. One arm, and then the other. Contracting the back, controlling the dumbbell, keeping the shoulders low and relaxed, keeping the neck long and lean. You're pulling the dumbbell up towards your hip, not towards your armpit. And alternating sides really requires us to be stable through our feet, through our hips, through our entire core. I'm gonna show you from this angle so you can see how narrow the row is. And you can see no matter which arm is moving, you are staying strong and stable. Try not to wobble, try not to turn. Now we're gonna finish this interval Instead of alternating, we're gonna do both arms together. Pull and control. Your body doesn't move, your body doesn't bounce. Keep breathing. From our back, we're gonna go right to our chest. Lay back nice and slow. Chest press. Arms above your shoulders, not your face. Knuckles are up to the ceiling. Here we go, alternate one arm and then the other rib cage is pulled down abs are tight keeping that neutral wrist shoulder low and relaxed neck is long and lean feel that stability through your pelvic bone through both shoulder blades so you're not wobbling side to side hover at the bottom so we don't bounce and we don't rest Every strength training move is at your own pace. Fast enough is a challenge, not so fast that you use momentum. We're gonna finish this interval with both arms. Hover at the bottom and push. Hover and push. Great job. From here, carefully support yourself to stand. We're gonna go to our shoulders. These are smaller muscles, so I'm gonna go to my lighter weights. Good foundation from your feet all the way up to a big shoulder roll landing in great form. Shoulders stay low and relaxed. Shoulder press, alternating one arm at a time. We're extending overhead, but we're not crossing our midline. We're extending right above that shoulder. Keeping the neck long, like you're pushing your shoulder down as you're extending your arm up. And that stability, you're not moving anywhere, but it takes so many muscles to stay stable when you alternate arms. Keep it up. Not leaning, not tilting, not wobbling side to side. Pressing through the knuckles instead of pushing through the hands. You don't wanna push through the palms. Now we're gonna finish with both arms. Both arms extend and bend. Extend and bend. Power through those shoulders. From shoulders to our biceps. Body's gonna stay the same. This great foundation from our feet all the way up. Big shoulder rolls so our shoulders are low, chest is open. We're gonna curl both arms holding at the top. And then without leaning, without tilting, we're gonna do alternating bicep curls. Neutral wrist, not curling, not breaking through that wrist joint, keeping it nice and neutral. Controlling the lower, contracting the lift, without leaning, without tilting, as we alternate. Those posture muscles are working hard. We're in the same position we had for the shoulder press, head to heels. Same posture through our back with our open chest. 
extending and contracting, holding at the top. Now we're gonna finish with both arms. Curl and control. Curl and control. Almost there. No swinging, all muscle. Triceps, our last dumbbell exercise. So great big shoulder roll. Same position we started those bent back rows with. We're gonna bend the elbows, locking in place and then we're gonna alternate kickbacks. One arm, and then the other arm. Contract, and control. Shoulders are low and relaxed. Don't let the shoulders shrug, and don't let the shoulders move. They're stable. Elbows, they don't go up or down. They simply extend and bend, locked in space. That stability of alternating arms is quite the challenge. Make sure you're not leaning, you're not letting your body help the arm that's moving. The triceps doing the work, everything else is stabilizing. Alternating. We're gonna finish with both arms. Contract and control. No pendulums here. Tricep contraction, stopping at that 90. Now that was five exercises, but I'm not done yet. We're gonna finish with a plank. You can stay upright and do a plank against the wall, or you can bring it down onto the floor. We want that nice long line from our head to our toes. Breathing here, one minute. Shoulders low and relaxed, pressing the floor away through the pads of your fingers, pads of your palms. Try not to press your heels back. We want our heels right above our toes. You can stay holding plank or you can add rotation into a side plank, back to center, side plank, back to center. This rotation can be done if you're on your toes, but even if you're modifying to your knees, you can go to the side of your knee, modified plank, modified side plank. Great options. Keeping integrity through that shoulder. 15 seconds left, 15 seconds. All done, think it back. Feel that length, feel that stretch, You're reaching through your fingers, lifting your hips over your heels, round up nice and slow. Support yourself to stand, take a nice deep breath at the top, and we are all done, five minutes. We worked every single upper body muscle group. Our legs and our core got a great workout as well. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and come back. Your workouts do not have to be extreme. Consistency is key. Come back and you can be consistent with me anytime.